Hey everybody, it's Melanie O'Kane with Yarn Mosaics and I'm doing this quick video to demonstrate our newest patterns and to show you how you would read these patterns. Okay, these are for our multi-purpose pattern line and these can be used um, for diamond painting, they can be used for crochet, knitting, cross stitch, uh, anything that uses a grid pattern really uh, and so you know we're going to start off we've got the image here this is this is what your project will look like when you are finished then we have the image in grid form each one of the squares let's see if i can make this a little bigger each one of the squares is a, a drill if you're diamond painting or a stitch and each one of these is one color so each one of these little squares is one color you're not really working from this you can use it as a reference if you want um, you can you know maybe uh, section it off according to the table that I'll show you in a second so you can kind of keep track of you know where you're at you can do whatever you want uh, and the table I was referring to is right here and this again is another reference guide each one of these cells in this table represents a chunk that you're working with in the pattern and by chunk I'll, I'll show you that in just a second for demonstration purposes here I am going to be talking about starting in the top left and working left to right and then starting again left side left to right and top to bottom okay for demonstration purposes this is the way I'm going to talk about the pattern you use the pattern as you normally would use it depending on what you are doing this pattern uses 18 colors. It's 313 by 313 squares. You could think of that as pixels. You could think of that as stitches. You could think of that as drills. Okay. And all the codes are for DMC floss. DMC floss is, um, you know, it, it it refers to a color really if you're a cross stitcher you know DMC floss is what you use for cross stitching diamond painting also uses DMC colors the the DMC color will also help you if you are looking for a particular yarn you know you can use the DMC charts to find um, a, a suitable yarn and then we have the key and you can change this key however you want or you can use it as a reference and, and make your own key with your own colors and symbols do whatever you want but this is an example of what the key is going to look like and on this side here we'll find the symbols there's no symbol in here that means that those are black there are 38 of those in this pattern 38 of those stitches or drills in this pattern the DMC floss code is 310 and the name is black then we have you know again the symbol the color like a visual reference of the color there are 105 of those in the pattern the DMC code is 3799 and this is the color name pewter gray very dark um, and so that's how that's how the key is read each one of these patterns will come with a key and it's up to you if you want to follow this exactly and make it look like you know um, like this or if you want to color it in it's up to you now we go to the pattern the chart okay now these there are a lot of pages in this this is why it's an ebook and the reason why there's so many pages is because I wanted to make this very readable and another cool thing is by doing it this way it makes you feel like you're just whipping through whatever you're doing 
Yeah, you mean, because you're going to get a big feeling of accomplishment once you get a page done. You're like, wow, that went really fast. And then, you know, on to the next page and the next page. And before you know it, you're through a, a section and then you're on to the next section. It just feels like you're getting through the project faster, I think. But it's definitely easier to read. So again, for this demonstration purpose, I am starting from the top left of the chart of the graph of the grid, whatever you want to call it. And we know that because we have these two zeros here. So this is the top left corner. This is where we are right here. Okay. And this first chunk that we're going to work through is right here. Okay, so um, what you would do then, again, for this demonstration, we would go from the, the top left and we would work left to right. Okay, now again, for this demonstration, I am going to talk about diamond painting. So if I were to be using this for diamond painting, I would start here and work Till here then I'd go back I go back and work this way and this way and this way and I would continue on until I'm through that section you can see each one of these darker thicker lines represents 10 10 columns 10 rows okay 10, 20, and then you'll see this one's only, well, it's not 10, it's only four. That's because it's going to hook up with the next chunk when you're done, and it's going to start, you're going to start right there, okay, in the top left of this next section, okay, so, um, I don't want to get too confusing. So we're going to start here. If I'm diamond painting, I'm just going to go ahead and do, 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 work through this. We can see we're moving along. We're to row 20, row 30, row 40. And the magic number for this pattern is 313. Okay. So let's go down. We've got 313. So here we are at the very bottom left corner of our pattern. When we get here, we're going to work across and then we're going to say, okay, now what? Well, now you want to go back up to the top and continue on with the next chunk. So here you finish the first chunk. Now you want to go back to the top and start with the next chunk. So we finish this chunk. We go to the next chunk. The next chunk can be shown um, on the table. The next chunk is here. And you're starting in this. So you finish down here. And then you're going to go boop back up here and start this chunk now and work your way across and down. And then when you get to the bottom of this chunk, you're going to go back up boop and start here and work your way across. Okay. Until you get all the way over here. And what I would do, what I recommend, uh, two things. When you finish a chunk, I would, you know, draw a line through it or highlight it or however you want to mark it, but to, to show that you've done this chunk, okay? And you may even want to color code it and then use the color codes down in the bigger sections to kind of help you keep track of where you are. You can also come up here and, you know, count out your however many um, cells and kind of cordon it off and then boom, draw a line through it. Okay, done with this. Now I'm working on this section and then I'm working on this section. 
and so on and so forth. Okay. Again, this is for demonstration purposes only. This is an example of how I would do it if I was diamond painting. Uh, if you do uh, mosaic crochet or tapestry crochet, you'll know typically we start down here and work right to left. So keep that in mind when you start reading the chart. You can, um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of pages here, but if you are so inclined, you can always print off maybe, you know, um, like the first top chunks and kind of, you know, put them together to give you a visual. And then you'll say, oh, okay, you know, if you get stuck, if you get confused, because it can get confusing, but that's why we have these, these little tools in the pattern to help you along. And again, I suggest that you, you know, when you finish a chunk, cross it off here. Then you know, like if you walk away from it for a day or two and you're like, where in the world am I at? Um, that, that this table is very helpful that way. So then you just keep working along and you just follow along with the symbols. Okay. So if you were to color this, um, the symbols we see here are white. Okay. So if you want to make, make your, um, project look the way that this does in kind of a, um, um, monotone, um, kind of a, a black and white feel with different shades of gray in there. Follow this along exactly. This, this, this will give you this. If you were wanting to color this, okay, what I would do is when you're in the chart and you see this is supposed to be white. See here, snow, or excuse me, snow white. Okay. Um, what I would do is I would change, let's say I want to make this blue. So I would come up here and, and, and I would maybe, uh, you know, put the color blue that I'm using here. Um, I would change how many of these or no, excuse me. I would not change this. This stays the same. There's 70,532 snow white drills or stitches in this pattern. You could change this to blue, whatever color blue. And then every time you see this symbol, instead of using snow white, you would use your blue and color it. See, and now you're going to color. So then when you're, when you're done, um, you know, all of this is going to be blue instead of white. Okay. And that's how you color it. Like when you get down here, let's say, oh, these would look great as like red. Um, you could change the white in this section to, to a red. I mean, it's really fun. Actually, it's really cool. Once you get in it, your creative mind is going to explode. Um, which, you know, here at Yarn Mosaics, we think that's a cool thing. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, drop us a line, uh, and from our Etsy store. And again, that's yarn mosaics, crochet dot com, uh, dot Etsy dot com yarn mosaics, crochet dot Etsy dot com. And, um, yeah, just drop us a line with any questions that you have, but, um, we're going to have a lot of these going up in the store. Uh, today is April 4th, 2024, and I'm hoping to get, just get the ball rolling and get a bunch of these out so you guys can have some fun and, uh, color your way through your patterns. So, uh, hope you guys have a great day. I really appreciate you watching through the whole video and I really hope it was helpful. And I will talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.